Now let's try the horizontal figure eights. These figure eights will travel in the dimension parallel to the floor. Before we were doing vertical figure eights, we were working from side to side. Now we're going to be working in this surface in front of us. Keeping the knees bent, we're going to twist the right hip forward, just like we did before in the basic twist. With the right hip forward, we're actually going to slide that hip all the way out and pretend like you're trying to reach the front right hand diagonal of the room. Pushing all the way through, keeping the knees slightly bent, and again, trying to stay completely horizontal to the floor so you don't want to dip up or down. Sliding out. Now you're going to trace the outside, the right side of the room with your hips. You're going to push all the way out until you reach the back corner. And here you're going to switch your attention to the other hip and slide through to the front diagonal of the left side. Along the wall to the back diagonal and through over to the right and through over to the left. And you're going to be shifting your weight from side to side, going over to the left and over to the right. Let's try that with music. Faster. And as you're doing this figure eight, when you're transitioning from the diagonal to the other side, make sure you come back to the neutral position where your belly button normally is and your knees are bent. So after you finish one first full loop, transitioning through, you should feel an engagement in the lower abs to push through, through to the other side so that your figure eight is even both front to back and doesn't bring you too far back or too far front. So it's happening right underneath your rib cage. And right. And left. And that's how you do a horizontal figure eight.